So Tabitha comes in, um, she's had a child and her breasts were a little bit droopy. It presented a little bit more of a challenge compared to your just typical breast augmentation. The pregnancy has played a good part in my decision to have a breast augmentation. After having children, they aren't as perky as they used to be. She didn't really want to do any kind of lift and uh, I don't think she really necessarily needed a lift so the plans for her were just to do a breast augmentation to help fill out that loose tissue. I did a lot of research, I was looking at you know different pictures and stuff and he had the best pictures. Every breast he touched was came out perfect. <laughs> I've always had small boobs and everyone always made fun of me and ant hills and mosquito bites, and all the names that you could come up with, I heard them. And I'll be more confident, definitely, just because that has always been a, one of my insecurities. And I've always wanted them, and now I'm finally getting it done. So with Tabitha, our goal was to get to a nice, full breast size, and we wanted to get her some good cleavage, as well as get her some nice uh, curves on the side of the breast, but her, her concern was that she didn't want to stick overly far out on the outside. So we used a higher profile implant, and it was important to get a large enough implant that would cover the diameter of her rib so that she didn't end up with a huge gap. Uh, Tabitha chose to have the incision in the crease. She didn't want any kind of scars around the areola. The crease way is actually the original way that uh, the breast augmentation is performed. It allows both saline and silicone breast implant uh, placement. And for someone like Tabitha who has very light skin color, once the scar is faded, you'll see hardly any kind of scar. So the dual plane breast augmentation is actually for women who have a little bit uh, droopy breasts, possibly from weight loss or having children, like in Tabitha's case. So it's a great procedure for them. Now what it is, is you actually make a plane beneath the muscle, and then also uh, a little bit of dissection above the muscle. This extra dissection allows the muscle to kind of stretch out and fill out the loose overlying breast tissue. Otherwise, the muscle would hold the implant down and there would be hanging breast tissue on top of the implant. The muscle restricts how much the implant will fill out that breast tissue. And with the dual plane technique, it allows the muscle to loosen and the implant to fill out that overlying loose breast tissue. So that when you squeeze the breast, it just feels like one breast, not breast hanging over the implant. I love them. I think they're just beautiful. They look great. I'm very happy with the way they look. I, what I love about them is that they don't go past my body, so I don't look like a triangle. You know, it looks like it's very well proportioned, and I think it's perfect. Obviously, I'm gonna be more confident. I'm excited when I put my clothes on. They look just so, everything just looks good. And definitely with my profession, I dance in Hollywood and I see so many boob jobs and they just, none of them look good, none of them. I was so nervous. I like spent a lot of time trying to find the perfect doctor that had a lot of good results and I'm very satisfied with my results and everybody loves them. They're like, oh my gosh, they're so pretty. I've already, one of the girls said she's already come for a consultation. I've wanted this for a really long time and I feel satisfied. I really am and I'm very happy with the doctor I chose. David Kim has been really sweet and I'm just very happy with my results.